Did you know that a simple reset could fix common diesel engine problems, like rough idling, unusual smoke, hard starts, or stubborn warning lights, without a trip to the mechanic? The crazy part is that most diesel drivers don't even know these resets exist, and you can do many of them in minutes, with zero tools or cost. The modern diesel engines are smart, but that intelligence can sometimes backfire. Your engine control module, ECM, transmission control module, TCM, diesel particulate filter, DPF sensors, and turbo controllers all constantly communicate to keep your engine running. A single glitch or bad sensor reading can trigger warning lights, limp mode, or poor engine performance. Think of your diesel's computer like a smartphone. When it freezes or misbehaves, a simple reboot can solve more problems than you'd expect. This isn't a gimmick, dealership techs and diesel specialists have been doing it for years. Step 1. Understand what a diesel reset actually does. Resetting your diesel isn't just turning it off and on. It clears temporary errors stored in your ECM, TCM, or other control modules. It recalibrates key systems like glow plug operation for cold starts, turbo boost, adaptation for smooth acceleration, DPF regeneration memory to prevent unnecessary warning lights, fuel trim and injector learning for smoother running. After a reset, your engine relearns these settings, often eliminating minor issues caused by intermittent faults. This is especially helpful after driving conditions that confuse sensors, like heavy towing, city traffic stop and go, or prolonged idling. Step 2. The Classic Battery Disconnect Reset for Diesel Engines The oldest and still most effective diesel reset is the battery disconnect method. Here's how to do it safely. Turn off your diesel engine and remove the key. Open the hood and disconnect the negative battery terminal. Press and hold the brake pedal or clutch if your diesel is manual for 30 seconds to drain any leftover electrical charge. Wait at least 15 minutes, then reconnect the battery. What this does for your diesel, clears volatile memory in the ECM, TCM, and sometimes DPF controllers, forces the engine to relearn idle, turbo response, and fuel injection timing, can remove minor check engine lights caused by soft faults. Things to know, your radio presets, clock, and infotainment settings will reset. For diesels with sensitive emission systems, this reset can sometimes trigger a DPF regeneration request, which is normal. Always perform this reset in a safe area and avoid restarting the engine until the battery has fully reconnected. Glow plugs and DPF sensors can behave unpredictably if a reset is done cold. Let the engine sit for a few minutes after reconnecting the battery before starting, especially in temperatures below 40 pifties. This prevents unnecessary strain on the glow plug system and turbo sensors. Step 3. The ignition key trick for older diesel engines some older diesel models like early Ford Power Stroke, Dodge Cummins, and older Mercedes diesels let you read and clear certain fault codes without a scanner. Here's how it works. Insert the key and turn it to the on position. Don't start the engine. Cycle the key on off on three to five times depending on the vehicle. Watch the check engine light. It will flash in patterns. For example, three blinks followed by two blinks might indicate code 32. Intermittent faults that no longer exist may clear themselves after a few drive cycles. This trick is handy for minor injector misfire codes, sensor hiccups or EGR faults that haven't returned after a fix. Step 4. Targeted Fuse Pull Resets Sometimes you don't want to reset your whole diesel, just the ECM, TCM or turbo control module. A fuse pull is perfect for this. Open your fuse box usually under the hood or dash. Locate fuses labeled ECM, TCM, or PCM. Remove the fuse for about 10-15 minutes, then reinstall it. What it does, resets, just the module you pulled the fuse for, recalibrates turbo boost control, throttle sensors, or injector timing. Avoids losing radio presets or clocks. This method is especially useful after repairing sensors like MAF, TPS, or DPF-related components. Step 5. Clearing Limp Mode on Diesel Engines Limp mode is a safety feature in diesels. When a sensor detects a serious issue like overboost from a faulty turbo, EGR problems, or DPF blockages, the ECM reduces power to protect the engine. But sometimes, limp mode sticks even after the underlying issue is fixed. How to reset limp mode? Use the battery disconnect method or a fuse pull targeting the ECM or TCM. 
For some diesels, a turbo or EGR relearn procedure may be required. We'll cover turbo resets later. Important, only reset limp mode after you fix the problem. Resetting it without a repair can damage your engine or turbo. Diesel specific tip. Vehicles like Nissan Turbo Diesels, VW TDI, and older BMW diesels often get stuck in limp mode after minor sensor glitches. A simple reset combined with a gentle drive can bring them back to normal. Step 6. Turbo and Transmission Relearning Modern diesels adapt to your driving style. The turbo and automatic transmission may feel sluggish if adaptations are off. Here's a basic reset trick. Turn the key to on, engine off. Fully press the accelerator pedal and hold for 10 seconds. Turn the key off, still holding the pedal, then release after 2 minutes. This resets transmission shift logic, turbo boost learning curves, throttle response. After this, your diesel should feel smoother, more responsive, and closer to factory performance. Some diesels, especially turbocharged ones, may require a few gentle drives for the ECM to fully relearn boost pressure and fuel trims. Avoid heavy towing immediately after a reset. Step 7. Resetting the Throttle Position Sensor TPS, on diesel engines. Diesel engines rely on precise air and fuel control. A faulty or miscalibrated TPS, jerky acceleration, rough idle, poor turbo response, many diesels allow a manual TPS reset. Here's a general approach. Turn the key to on, but don't start the engine. Wait about two seconds. Fully press the accelerator pedal to the floor, then release. Repeat this five times. Wait 10 seconds, then start the engine. Diesel examples. This works well on Toyota Helix diesel, Honda CRV diesel, Nissan Navara, and older European diesel pickups. After a successful reset, you'll notice smoother idle and better throttle response. Step 8. Idle relearn after a battery or fuse reset. After clearing the ECM memory, your diesel may run rough at idle. Don't worry, this is normal. The engine has lost its learned idle settings, including fuel trims and airflow adaptations. How to retrain your diesel's idle. Start the engine with no AC or accessories on. Let it idle 5-10 minutes. Turn on the AC. Let the engine idle another 5 minutes. Drive gently for 10-15 minutes. This lets the ECM relearn turbo boost response, fuel delivery, and idle trim, preventing stalling, rough idle, or hesitation. Diesel tip. For turbo diesels, avoid heavy load or towing until the ECM relearn process is complete. Step 9. Diesel Particulate Filter DPF Warning Light Diesel engines with a DPF can trigger warning lights even after a successful regeneration or cleaning. Sometimes the light sticks due to a stored fault code. Reset Method Check that all tires, fluids, and emission systems are normal. Perform a battery disconnect or ECM fuse pull to clear stored faults. Drive at highway speed for 10-15 minutes to allow the ECM to relearn soot levels and regeneration intervals. Important: If the light remains, the DPF sensor may be faulty, or a regeneration might be incomplete. Never ignore a true DPF issue. It can damage your turbo and engine. Step 10. Resetting Diesel Maintenance Lights Most diesels display service reminders for oil changes, fuel filters, or other routine maintenance. These aren't engine warnings, just reminders you can reset them manually without a scan tool. Example for Toyota or Nissan diesel pickups. Turn the key to on, engine off. Press and hold the trip meter button. Turn the key off while holding the button. Turn the key back to on and wait until the dashes disappear or 0000000, 000 shows. Other brands may vary slightly, but the steps are usually simple and DIY friendly. Diesel tip, always reset maintenance lights after completing the service. This keeps your maintenance history accurate and helps prevent overlooked issues. Step 11. The psychological power of diesel resets. There's a real confidence boost in being able to reset your diesel engine safely and correctly, knowing you clear warning lights, restore idle and turbo performance, avoid unnecessary trips to the dealer, makes you a smarter, more empowered diesel driver. You're no longer guessing, you're acting. This mental shift alone can reduce stress, and save money. Step 12. Using OBD2 tools like a pro on diesel engines. OBD2 scanners are a diesel driver's best friend. Basic scanners cost $20-$30 and can read trouble codes. 
while advanced Bluetooth tools like OBD Link LX or FixD give live data, freeze frame info, and maintenance logs. Why this matters for diesel engines. Detects loose fuel cap, P0455, injector misfires, P0300, or O2 sensor issues, P0131. Let's you research codes and clear them yourself, saving a costly trip to the shop. Can track DPF, turbo, and EGR sensor data in real time. Keep a small OBD2 tool in your glove box. It's your ultimate diesel reset companion. Step 13. When not to reset your diesel. Resets are powerful, but there are limits. Never reset your diesel. If the engine is overheating, there's visible fluid loss or leaks. Transmission slips, jerks, or smokes. You smell burning or see smoke from exhaust. In these cases, a reset will only hide symptoms and could worsen damage. Use resets only for minor glitches, sensor hiccups, or soft faults. Step 14. Resetting after replacing diesel sensors. Whenever you replace a diesel sensor like MAF, O2, TPS, IAT, or DPF sensors, old values stored in the ECM must be cleared. Otherwise, your engine may continue using outdated data, causing poor performance. What to do? Perform a battery disconnect or fuse pull. Follow up with an idle relearn and gentle drive. Monitor for improved throttle response, turbo boost, and idle stability. This ensures your new sensor works as intended and prevents lingering faults. Step 15. Clearing ABS or SRS codes in diesel vehicles. ABS, anti-lock brakes, and SRS airbags codes are safety critical. Generic OBD2 tools often cannot clear these codes, but certain apps like Carista or Bimmer code can. Important. Only clear ABS or SRS codes after repairs. Never reset these codes just to hide a problem. These systems protect you and your passengers. Step 16 Factory Reset Going full diesel Some diesel vehicles allow a full factory reset via the infotainment system. This clears paired phones, deletes driving data and preferences, fixes strange infotainment bugs. Note, a factory reset won't reset the ECM, TCM, or turbo settings. It's mainly useful before selling the vehicle or troubleshooting electronics issues. Step 17. CVT and Automatic Transmission Relearn for Diesel Engines Diesels with CVTs or adaptive automatic transmissions may feel sluggish over time. To reset and relearn, warm up the engine fully. Drive at a steady throttle, applying firm acceleration and deceleration 3. Some diesels adapt automatically after a few days of driving. This improves shift timing, smoothness, and turbo coordination. Step 18. Resetting the HVAC system in diesels. Diesel HVAC systems can act up after battery disconnects or sensor issues. Strange AC or heater behavior may need recalibration. Turn the ignition on. Hold down recirculation rear defrost buttons for 5 seconds. Listen for vent actuator cycling. This resets blend doors and restores proper airflow. Step 19. Steering angle sensor reset for diesel vehicles. Modern diesels rely on steering angle sensors for stability control. If misaligned, you may see traction or stability warnings. Reset method. Start the engine. Turn the steering wheel fully left, then fully right. Center the wheel and drive straight for 10. The system should auto calibrate. Step 20. Keep a diesel reset log. Every time you perform a reset, write down the date, what was reset, ECM, TCM, TPS, DPF, etc. Symptoms that improved or persisted. This helps track your diesel's performance, prevents unnecessary resets, and provides valuable data for diagnostics if issues return. These 20 diesel reset techniques give you control over your vehicle like few drivers have. No tools, no mechanic bills, and no guesswork. From ECM memory resets to TPS calibration, DPF light fixes, limp mode recovery, and OBD2 troubleshooting, you now have a complete toolkit for maintaining and optimizing your diesel engine. Resetting your diesel safely saves money, boosts confidence, and keeps your truck or SUV running smoothly for years. Now it's your turn. Which diesel resets have you tried? Did any save you from a costly repair or strange engine behavior? Share your story in the comments to help other diesel drivers learn and save. Smart diesel drivers don't just drive, they learn, reset, and stay in control.